everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back for a second video for the day because something came up that I thought was worth talking about for a second video. If you look to my left, you can see the entire top surface of this is completed. There's some trim on this side, there's also another piece of trim on the other side, and it was a lot easier to put that trim on and finish up this last uh, bit here using this attachment that I have at the top of the ladder here. This is called a Ladder Max. Uh, adapter. It kind of uh, hooks onto a couple of the steps on a, a you know a regular ladder, and it really makes it a lot more uh, you know safe and secure feeling. Uh, I remember I did not have it when I was building uh, you know the main house, and there are a lot of times when you're kind of at the top of the ladder and you're trying to work over the roof and you're kind of like trying to get up and around it. This is great because it spreads out uh, where you're uh, attaching to, well not attaching, but leaning against the. Uh, the wall, it spreads it out, makes you more stable, and it also kind of brings you back, so instead of kind of leaning up and trying to get around things, you can just kind of lean forward, and it feels a lot more safe, it is a lot more safe. Uh, and what I want to talk about in this video is kind of the hodgepodge between uh, using like what you've got, you know, what's available at the time, you know, the wrong tool for the job, but it's what you got, versus using the right tool for the job. That Ladder Max is a really great right tool for the job. It really made everything a lot safer, and I, you know, I really appreciate having that. I think it was a good investment. I think I, I paid, I think they're like $90 or so, and I was able to get a coupon. I think I got it for 70 or so. Really well worth it, you know, just for the safety alone, and it also makes me feel more comfortable while I'm up there. This ladder, on the other hand, this ladder I got for free, it was uh, just rotting in the woods at the last house that I uh, was living at temporarily. It was perceived as being so junky that it was not even worth taking by the, the previous people who lived there. Uh, you know, it's got some cracks here and there. Uh, you know, overall, I mean, it's still, uh, you know, reasonably safe. I used it a ton while I was building over there. Uh, the, at the main place, and I've used it a little bit here. So here you have kind of a hodgepodge between, you know, what I've got available to me, which is a, a free ladder that I found in the woods. It's, you know, maybe not the most ideal thing. Uh, and then, like, the right tool for the job, which is that ladder max. Uh, additionally, what I'm about to be doing on the front here is I got another piece of trim that I want to put, uh, you know, right across the top there. So when rain's falling, it's not falling right on that, that top board. Uh, I, I know that there are pieces of trim that you can buy. There's uh, specific for that. I didn't, I didn't order any of those. I kind of figured I'd figure it out later, and I never figured it out later. I've just been kind of busy. Uh, but I do have some extra of the side trim. This is called Denver trim. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was invented in Denver or something like that. But uh, I have extra of this side trim, so I'm going to be adapting the side trim for the front. Now, it's not a perfect match made in heaven, but with a little bit of modifications, I think I can kind of take this, and I think I'm going to use this. This is normally what faces up. I think I'm going to have this face out to the front uh, to cover up as much of that wood uh, front as I can. And I'm, I'm going to kind of like fold the end around and, you know, kind of gift wrap, wrap it using like some metal shears and some bending tools uh, to kind of make two ends and then put a piece in the middle. And it should work pretty well. And it's really important whenever you're working on a project to be able to kind of make the best of, you know, the junk that you might have on hand that's not the particularly... Well, there's a B. Um, yeah, well, there you go. So instead of having a zap racket, use the Denver trim. You know, it not maybe the perfect or ideal tool for the job, but it's what you have. And then kind of uh, sprinkling in with that, you know, the knowledge of what is the right tool for the job and kind of figuring out like when, when it's important to have the absolute right tool for the job and when you can kind of make do with other things. That, that's a uh, balancing act that I'm still trying to figure out, but it's important to think about that because you, you can s expend a lot of resources trying to have the perfect tool for every single job. Uh, and it can really limit your ability to actually accomplish things because, you, you know, you're spending a lot of, you know, money and capital, uh, you know, making sure you always have that perfect thing when sometimes, you know, what you got kicking around is perfectly good and adequate. That's it. Thanks for watching.